Okay, welcome to Maya 2023. In this video, I want to create a project called Fire. So click on say don't save. I don't need you. So now I want to create a fire element here in a quick this quick tutorial. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring an element a subject matter to this point. So what I'll do is I click on create. On create, I will use um, polygon primitive. So I want to use a uh, torus. Okay, just click that. It's okay by me. So I want to rotate it. Let it stand vertical. Click here on the yellow. So I will go to this point and change it to 90 degree per cent. So stand firm for me. So if I want to see how I stand, press a backspace on your keyboard and you see that okay it's halfway down the so I want to raise it up. So by staying at the top of the zero origin. Good. So press backspace again to that point. So now you can decide to add color or do whatever you want to do to this and say okay add assign new material and this one i want to change is something to red so i'm using blind so the blind i'm using which is one so i click on this and say change to yellow or red done to so this now from this place now i want the fire to be Moving around it and be burning, like so. What I do is that I select it. So I will go to from this uh, menu now. I'm going to change to VX. At the VX, I'm going to work on the feed and silver. I think that is the place I can get my fire feed and silver. No, so I'm going to use effects. So from the effects now, I'm going to use this. So a lot of things are there, collide effect, apply effect and things like that. So I'm using fire effects by this point. So you click on fire effects from this position and say OK fire. So it's asking you the question question that what are these so object on fire is there, particular object pattern. The pattern fire particle name, you can change that by yourself. Fire attributes is already on the surface. The fire end frame according to radius and things like that. So you say apply and say create. So it's there already. So when you do play, you're supposed to see the fire. So that is the fire particle already burning. Can you see? So that is the real fire particle burn. So how do you know whether it's fire particle? Now what I want to do is I want to create say select camera. So I want to change the the way the camera looks so i have selected that camera select camera uh, so as i select the camera go to this space and i will see create a new camera from what from view so another camera has been created so i select that camera again so from here i change this shot So that camera I'm going to select the again, so select the camera and I will put it's only the camera I'm going to do for this level one. I'm going to put that camera to to street animation by pressing S on the keyboard. So it's been animated. So even though I change later, by the time I say press play, it's going to come back to this original space for me. So no matter what the case may be, no matter where I go. So that's how it works. So now the fire I want it to continue burning, but I don't want it to just be burning on the normal bronze space. So I'm going to click on uh, go back to my original. Uh, so I just this one now. Then you say create, create a plane level. So plane level like that. Good. So leave it there, man. You can change this one again and say assign another color material. Changes to I'm not using blind this time around. I just want to use lampet. So lampet will just give me to and see. Okay, change this color 
the color blue okay um make it lighter i don't want the color blue good so that's it for that so when you click we are still in the same camera click here now it's going to come back to the original space now how do you render and give you the fire color the best thing to do is the quick one we are going to do here and say click on this render click on this and say click on render rendering so on the rendering you click on render and say render setting and this setting that is anod anod render but i'm not going to use that now i just want to use a quick one that will give us what we want so maya software is what we want to use and the maya software that we are we have chosen you can expand this so that you see more of the options so here you change the resolution by increasing this and say okay let's just change it to hd i'm using bigger hd here now so i'm using this full hd screen or hd of this so let me use this hd 180 the resolution you should work with that by using 300 okay press enter and you say close so now there's something you need to do that will help you quick is that the animating aspect of the drawing you are doing hmm? it will be more reasonable but let's just, just render one frame later we do the animation of that but let's just see the, whether the thing will render in fire or not so how do you do that so click here and say launch range setup launch render so render free can you see so that the film is render and the software is there and everything is perfect so can you see the can you see now so if we render it can you see so if you zoom in like zoom into to this now then bring this zoom in again zoom in again and at this same time i come in and surrender the frame surrender the current frame so it shows and it moves to you and that is the resolution of the fire and now you create fire in what in, in what in maya 2023 it's a quick tutorial that you need to familiarize yourself with and that is the beauty of it so if you want to click or do the animation we are going to do that one in our next tutorial so kindly subscribe to our channel for the updates of what